Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. Now in the past uh, few videos, uh, we discussed uh, about the basic logic gates, that is the NOT gate, the OR gate and the AND gate. Okay, we discussed their uh, uh, basic operation, the schematic symbols, the truth table depicting the input output relationship. So, in the next uh, two videos, we are going to discuss about the two universal gates, okay? And why they are called universal gates? It is because all the logic gates, that is the NOT, the NAND, the NOR, uh, sorry, uh, the NOT, the AND, the OR, the XOR and the XNOR, all the logic relationships, all the logical uh, expressions they can be represented using these gates alone okay that's why they are called as universal gates okay there are two universal gates okay there are two universal gates I already covered this part in the basic uh, concepts about logical circuits in that video you can check out that so there are two <coughs> universal gates, first one is the NAND gate which we are going to discuss today and the second one is the NOR gate, we will discuss this in a separate video. In this video we are going to discuss about NAND gate, okay. So the NAND gate it is actually uh, a combination of the inverter and the AND gate, okay, the NOT gate and the AND gate, the NOT gate is also called as inverter. So we can say that the NAND gate, the NAND gate is the NOT gate combined with the AND gate, the NOT gate combined with the AND gate. When you combine the inverter or the NOT gate with the AND gate, we will get the NAND gate, okay. So we know that uh, in the AND gate, If we give two inputs A and B, the output will be A dot B or A and B, which is the product of the two logic levels. And in a NOT gate or inverter, okay, the NOT gate or the inverter, if we give a signal, let us say A, the output will be the complement of that signal. That is, if we give 0, the output will be 1 and if we give 1, the output will be 0, the opposite of the input. In uh, digital circuits, there are only two possibilities for input and output, 0 and 1, high or low, low or high. So, in the inverter, it is the opposite, the inversion of the input. So, when we combine these two gates, we get the NAND gate. So, we can say that if we combine these two gates, okay, if we combine these two gates, that is the output of this AND gate, we give it to the input of the NOT gate. This output, this final output which we will get, that is A dot B whole complement, this will be the output of the NAND gate. 
this will be the output of the NAND gate. So, the output of the NAND gate is the complement of the output of the AND gate that is A dot B bar or we can say NAND is equal to complement of AND complement of AND NAND is the complement of AND it is the complement of and. Now, let us uh, discuss about the schematic symbol and the truth table of the NAND gate. So, the schematic symbol of the NAND gate. We just uh, discussed that the NAND gate is a combination of the AND gate and the NOT gate. So, its schematic symbol is almost similar to AND gate with a subtle difference. So, the symbol of the AND gate is similar. So, the NAND gate is similar to the AND gate. Okay, This is the two inputs. Okay, Up to this, it is similar to the AND gate. In order to com convert it to a NAND gate, we add a bubble here. This bubble represents the NOT gate or the inverter that is the complement operation on the two inputs. This is the schematic symbol of the NAND gate. It is almost similar to the AND gate only this bubble we added extra. So, the output is A dot B bar that is the output is the complement of the AND operation, the AND output. If we remove the complement, it will be AND, but as there is this bubble present, the extra NOT gate or the inverter, this complement uh, is over this AND output. So, this is the symbol of the NAND gate. It is a AND gate combined with an inverter or the NOT gate, which is represented by this bubble. Okay, so, the symbol is similar to the AND gate, only this bubble is added extra. Now, the truth table, it has uh, the two inputs A and B and output is A dot B bar. Okay, A b and this is y equals to a b bar. For understanding, let us add another column which is a b. This is extra. This is a b. We will our purpose is to determine this a b bar, but just for the understanding, we have included this and output. The, on, the output of the AND gate. Okay? So, as there are two inputs A and B, there will be four possibilities or four input combinations 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay? So, first we will discuss the AND portion and then we will discuss about the NAND output which is our main intention AB bar. Okay? We know that in uh, AND gate the output is logic 1 or high only when both the inputs are high. Okay? Only in the last case both the inputs are high. So, the output will be high only in that case for the AND gate. Okay? For the AND the output will be high only when both the inputs are high rest all will be 0. I have already discussed this in the AND gate video. You please check out that before going into this so that you understand this concept in a good way. So, in AND gate the principle says that when both the inputs are logic high that is both are 1 the output will be high or 1 and in all the other cases the output will be 0. Now, 
coming to this NAND gate output part. The output of the NAND gate is the complement version of the AND gate output. Okay, NAND is complement of AND. That is the inversion of the AND. So if AND output is zero, NAND output would be one. So, in all these three cases, the output will be 1. And when the AND gate output is 1, the NAND gate output will be 0. Okay? So, this is the required output of the NAND gate. Now, here this case becomes interesting. So, In the NAND gate, when both the inputs are high, logic high, that is both are logic 1, the output will be 0. And in all the other cases, the output will be 1. Now, please don't confuse with this column. This is the AND gate output. Okay? Since the NAND gate is derived from the AND gate by the addition of the extra NOT gate or inverter, I have included this column so that you can understand it in a better way, the operation in a better way. Do not confuse with this. This is the output of the NAND gate, which is the complement of the AND gate output because of this NOT gate or inverter represented by the bubble. So, in the NAND gate, when both the inputs are logic 1 or high, the output will be low or logic 0 and in all the other cases, the output will be high. So, this is uh, the basic, uh, some of the basic concepts related to NAND gate. Okay, so in the next video, uh, we'll be discussing about NOR gate. Okay, so now you can guess that the NOR gate is derived from the OR gate by the addition of a extra NOR gate or inverter. We'll discuss that in detail. So here we have discussed the basic things related to NAND gate the basic uh, definition, the schematic symbol, how the NAND gate is derived from the AND gate and the input output relationship through the truth table. So, always remember the unique feature of each gate. Okay? In this case, it is that when both the inputs are high, the output will be low and in all the other cases, it is high. So, I hope you like this video. And please subscribe my channel Engineering Tutorial for more such videos related to electrical, electronics, instrumentation and communication engineering. Have a great day. Thank you very much.